Um, so we're starting off here, I think, with uh, Burnt Umber. The original painting was fine, but I really like these these 20 by 20 canvases too much to to not reuse them. I started doing this particular style, I think, last week. There's a piece titled 8424. Hold up, let me check it out real quick. It's a piece titled... 2842, which was a uh, which was like a side profile of a dude's head, surrounded by blue. Uh, color wise, we're using sky blue, burnt umber, crimson, um, yellow deep, and some either milky white or titanium white. I'm not quite sure which one. The painting we're painting over was a piece called. Uh, Beach Blath, which was a spirit box song. Spirit box, pretty dope. Um, and then the title of this one is uh, Delicate Apathy, which is a slow bloomer song. Big fan of slow bloomer. You only have one album out. They're not even active anymore. Hopefully there's some new shit in the future, but I, I doubt it. I really dig that genre. It's not pop punk or anything. It's not grunge either. Uh, it's kind of shoegazy. Uh... It's hard to find that type of music, though. There's just not a lot of it out there. I don't mean not a lot of it. That's good. Like, Basement. You guys ever bump Basement? I fucking hate Basement. I should like Basement, but those guys can't write a good hook to save their life. Uh, Turnovers. Peripheral Vision, I think, is probably one of the dopest albums of that type of angsty, uh, grungy, shoegazy style. Uh, but there's not a lot of it, man. I'm... You know, and with me, I've gotten old. I don't really search for music that much anymore. Uh, I never thought it would happen this this early. <laughs> I have to I have to dedicate time to find music. I have to dedicate time to watch movies. I, I, I keeping up with media these days is just you know, it's an actual like you have to put effort into it, and that's that's something that I never really thought would happen. I always just thought I would find dope shit all the time, but. You, know, you get stuck in your ways, end up listening to the same pop songs you're bumping. Uh, well, to be honest with you, I never really listened to pop music until like two years ago. But now, I, I, yeah, I'm listening to the old one-hit wonders from from a decade ago. Uh, I, I yeah, man, uh, I, gotta, I gotta get on my, I got, I got, I gotta search for better music, man. Uh, it's just not uh, something that I really give a shit about these days. Uh, so I covered the, I covered over the orange with blue, that sky blue, and if you can look down the corner right there, I fl- I, I didn't fill out the whole thing, so in the right 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 corner there's a little bit of orange peeking out, so I'm gonna end up using that as as, as this figure's leg, and uh, I can already see the basic layout of this guy's uh, body there. Uh, see, like, yeah, there goes the leg. You can kind of see his uh, his face up there. Um, I'm real. I am over the portrait thing, but I keep doing the portrait thing. And you know, doing the portrait thing is not a bad thing because you know they, they always end up looking pretty dope. But if I can help it, you know, with the type of canvas, the, with these types of canvas, it, it feels like a waste to me to to just focus on the middle and then just do a face. Like there, it's too much negative space that you can utilize. So I'm gonna try to utilize it um, a little more going in the future. I end up uh, checking out some Francis Bacon while I paint this piece. I use a lot of references. Like, you guys never see me looking at my phone, but I'm looking at a lot of different artwork while I make my stuff. None of this is truly off the dome, you know? That, that, that just doesn't really happen. Um, I end up looking at some Francis Bacon stuff to to figure out how to, how, how to incorporate a chair properly. Um, 
every time I try to make my own chairs, I can never do the armrests right. I'm not. I would. I would probably actually have to sit down and, and draw people sitting in chairs to figure out how it works. And uh, personally, I'm not all that interested in, in studying when it comes to painting or drawing. That's just not something that, that I really care to do. Um, I don't know why. I, I feel like uh, it would only benefit me if I actually put, put the practice time in. The reason that I put a chair in this piece is because uh, like if you were actually sitting the way this person's sitting, it, it, would, it, would, it would burn up your, your core after a while. Um, because that that uh, atmosphere, that blue atmosphere in the background isn't solid. The only way that that seated position makes sense is if they're leaning on a wall, and that wall isn't isn't permanent. You know, it's not it's not solid. So that person has to end up sitting on something. So we end up uh, here in a little bit. We end up putting a chair back there. Um, I've had a couple of people say that this figure look like looks like it's masturbating. Uh, I don't really see that, to be honest with you. Um, for me, like, like that bottom hand is not close enough to be fingering itself. And that top hand, I don't really see that, like, um, I don't really see it doing anything. Uh, if, any, if anything, I, I, I should have put that, I should have put a cigarette in that hand. But, um, I didn't really think about it until, until a little bit later. What I was originally planning on doing with this piece was, uh, maybe doing, like, multiple arms. I wanted to do multiple arms and maybe put like uh, like three or four arrows on top of it, like it like it fell down on the on this person. Um, but it's just an idea, and for me to actually follow through on anything, it's yeah, not gonna happen, man. I'm uh, uh, I take the easy road out all the time, constantly. I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm not all that. Uh, I'm not all that dedicated of a person, man. Uh, yeah. So I ended up... Um, I, I was looking at some artwork while I was painting this one. And there was a guy who posted some of his work. His name is... Um, let me look this shit up real quick. His name is Rodolfo Lopez. But that's not his Instagram handle. His Instagram handle is, um, hold up. His Instagram handle is Cobra's Nesta. That's all one word. He posted this, uh, this picture of like, like 12 of his, of his paintings. And they all had these pretty dope crucifixes in it. And, uh, you can see me. You can see the moment I see this, uh, I, I look at this dude's paintings because uh, I immediately steal one of those crucifixes and put it in this piece. Uh, I, had, <laughs> if I was a better artist, man, uh, you could tell when I reference something. But the issue is, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not really that technically proficient when it comes to art. Uh, I was, I, I was, I was a technically proficient artist about a decade ago. Um, you know, what people don't know about me is uh, I, I actually did draw a lot when I was younger. Um, my entire school run, at least from age 5 to 18, I was always drawing something. And I just gave up once I discovered alcohol. But I was, you know, I, I was always, I always had a project. I was always trying to draw something new. Um, I was always working on something because paying attention to classwork was just never my thing. Um, it, it, you know, I was, just, I was never really the school type, man. Um, so I was always drawing. So I, I you can't tell, but there's at least you know, 10 years of drawings behind my work. Um, but it, it was never my own work. I was always drawing someone else's work. And, uh, I think what was helpful for my style these days was the people that I was taking inspiration from back then. I didn't know it, but, um... I was I was drawing a lot of his name is um, Travis Smith I want to say uh, he, he did a lot of album artwork uh, I used to draw from when I was really young I would draw from Wizard Magazine if you guys remember that 
uh, Wizard Magazine was pretty dope. I didn't know shit about comic books or anything, but I, I just knew when things looked cool. So I, I, I drew a lot of uh, Wizard Magazine stuff. A lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff. Got a little bit older, I started drawing Puss Ed. And uh, ended up getting really into metal. In, like middle and high school. And uh, I ended up drawing a lot of this Travis Smith shit, man. Yeah, there it is. Travis Smith, American graphic artist. That's the guy. Um, I didn't know it was his artwork, bro. I, I just kept seeing these dope album art covers in, in these magazines, you know, Guitar World, Hip Raider, or Revolver, what have you. And uh, I just drew a lot of his stuff. I, I, was, I was pretty good back in the day, man. I could draw, like, uh, Alex Gray type stuff. Like, the anatomy... <laughs> like I, I, I was uh, I was good, I was good about a decade ago. Um, but then I stopped drawing. Went once once I started drinking, and then that lasted for a long time. Uh, I I didn't, I didn't draw from eighteen to twenty five or twenty six. Um, you know, if you find my Tumblr page, you know, you could you could watch my development uh, as a as a from from a drawing standpoint. I numbered all of them because I thought it would be interesting to, to, to go back and look at my progress so it starts at number 1 and I think it goes up to like number 72 or some shit like that um, and then about 3 or 4 months later I start getting a way more distinct style heavily influenced by Joel Peter Witkin and um, Uber Cult U V no no V B E R K V L T up on uh, Instagram uh, not so much his style like, like uh, he does like a more primitive style, but just the uh, the white on black ink thing, mostly that. But you know, the, the, his style is definitely in what I do too. Um, yeah, man, it, it took a long time, but then the drawing started becoming very distinctive. Uh, I haven't done a lot. I haven't done too much drawing in in a while probably get back into it someday i would really like to record it show you guys how i do it because uh you know it's therapeutic um you know for me to draw i gotta do squiggles i gotta cover the whole piece in squiggles stole this from francis bacon nothing in particular that's uh that's, that's burnt umber for the border then we're gonna fill it in with black like I said, if you were seated in that position regularly, your core would be on fire. So we'll put put a little chair in this bitch, give this dude some to chill on. Um, very simple piece, man. Very simple. I like what I do because it's simple. Um, it's never really into technical stuff. At least as an adult, I don't really have the patience for it. And I did not study the fundamentals. Like, if you ever read our advice from the internet, everyone's like, study the fundamentals, study the fundamentals. Like, nah, man, that was never my thing. I'm, 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 I'm fucking hurting from it, though. Like, I ha like uh, I'm just trying to make more interesting compositions right now. If I studied the fundamentals, uh, I probably could be doing some more dope shit. I've been looking at a lot of... Uh, Caitlin Hackett artwork lately. That chick does some dope shit, man. Like, you know, she's a she's an illustrator proper, you know. Way different than the shit I do. Um, I I just been looking at that type of stuff. I'm not trying to incorporate it in any in any meaningful way just yet, but I'd like to, man. That that symbolism heavy stuff. I feel like that's well, I mean, a it's more marketable. I feel like more people would. Uh, I think it'd be easier to get gigs. If I if I invested time in doing that, uh, and B, it's just uh, it would be a good challenge. But I'm I'm just not so much interested in um, in putting the time in. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, I was uh, I went to the tribal art school for all of three weeks a couple years back. Yeah, I think I was like twenty, so like five years ago. No, no, <laughs> twenty eight, like eight years ago. Okay, yeah, I went to the uh, tribal art school, you know, a decade ago, and uh, I just couldn't do it, man. It was, like, super depressing. It was depressing, and it wasn't really for intermediate artists. 
a prerequisite to getting into the more interesting classes was uh, I think it was like two years of gesture drawings, still life drawings. Uh, it was like three times a week. Here's that crucifix thing I stole in real time. Um, I don't have a straight edge on me. Are they called straight edge? I think they're called straight edges. So I ended up using my paintbrush as a guide. Completely stole that from this guy. Um, sorry, dude. <laughs> nah, I'm not sorry. It looks cool. It looks cool. Gives a shit. Um, we're pretty much coming to, coming to the end of this piece. So we're just gonna dot this bitch up. I don't know if I don't think I recorded it, but I put some flies on there. Put some butterflies on there. I threw the uh, threw the, the quadruple horns on this fella because the quadruple horns look cool. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, and I think that's really it for this time around. Uh, I, I feel like I made this video too long, uh, but I don't mind ranting while I make these things. Uh, so uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. I'll try to get a time lapse tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Do it. I, I'm gonna be busy for the next few days here, so uh, hopefully I can get some work in. Um, but I, I, you know, we might take a break. Don't want to, but we might have to. Uh, what else? I got some new stickers coming in. Anyone who's into the the funeral veil piece, I don't I, that 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 painting just resonated with a lot of people. Uh, I liked it, but. I, you know, it's crazy how much people dig that piece. I ordered some stickers. I ordered, I, I yeah, I mean, I ordered three different stickers, but they all came in at different times. Uh, so the funeral veil piece that's that's gonna be coming in should be in this week uh, as stickers. I think it's like it's like a four by three. Um, so if if you're if you're into the sticker part of what I do, that'll be up soon. Uh, buy some art, buy a print, you know, blah, blah, blah. I should definitely have Patreon going. Uh, whatever. Peace.